What's up, guys? Hello. Guys, Hello. we have a we have a guest today. Our first guest on the Goomba Me. podcast. Dinkpot is here. <laughs> Dinkpot. Hey, how you doing? Big fan, Dinkpot. Mm. Oh. We have Blazed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you might know him from the lizard person gif mm-hmm. or That's maybe from one. his prolific streaming hours his youtube videos yeah all that all of uh, the above crazy we go crazy hard blazed um i'm hung over anybody else i'm tired nah. from driving okay okay yeah, yeah that's fair too yeah cool eight hours six and a half Cool six and a half to eight to twenty nine hours. Oh, it was bad. It was really bad. But um, how was your uh, how was your guys uh, drive back from from Albuquerque? Oh, I just it was bad. It was bad. Yeah, yeah. I, I was enjoyable. Know. I I I had a fun time. Oh, okay. We got Mister Bright Eyes over here. Yeah, I had to piss yeah. in a bottle <laughs> in Texas. Yeah, me too, man. So, so why didn't you just pull over? Because, because listen, man. I well, I did pull. I'm not pulling. I'm not driving while I'm pissing in the bottle because you gotta like sit up. It's not that easy. But I had to pull onto somebody's like farmland to piss in the bottle. So why not just like pee on the side of the road? Because then you're standing there with your peener out on the side of the road. People can drive by. I mean, you know what I like to do in those situations is I'll just pull over, right? If there's like not like trees or something I can hide behind. Yeah, and I'll just walk over to my passenger side door and open it, so I'm shielded yeah, yeah, completely from the front and from the back. You just, you know they can't see anything, and then I just piss on the floor, like in I, your you car. Know, no, on the dirt. <laughs> Dude, you're like I'm get just on the upholstery. No, I'm <laughs> no, I'm just standing up, but covered by the passenger side door, uh, just okay, peeing Mister. on the floor. Crazy man. But hey, I had a similar. I had to pee in a bottle on the way back too, so I understand. Yeah. Um, and I didn't, didn't even work. pull over, dude. I was just, but the traffic was literally so slow that it I didn't move. I was hoping like we wouldn't hit a little movement, but while I was peeing, but yeah. no, nah, it, it was chilling. I just whipped it out. I tried to fit it in a Dasani bottle. I tried oh, to stuff like yeah, the head of my not... dick in there. Okay. And it, <laughs> but then I was like, oh my God, if I stuff it in and then I get some blood flow, yeah, like what am I going to do? I'm going to get squished. Right. Uh, but even without know, the blood dude. flow, I I couldn't fit it in. Yeah, you shouldn't even be able to get the fucking head of your peener in there. It's yeah, it's, it's really small. small. You don't realize how small the bottle hole is until you got to pee. I know it was actually a bit of an ego boost. I'm like, there's no way this thing's fitting in here. Yeah, well, that's everybody has the same problem, motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know, but I think you can fit in there. The guy could the, the the centimeter diameter oh, bottle. Pal. <laughs> Damn, you're gonna do dink pot like that, you oh, little man. bitch. It's a radius uh, of hey one guys, millimeter. Bra- news, news, news. You ready? I got news. Yeah. Brian Laundry killed himself with a gun. Brian Brian Laundry killed himself with a gun. I don't uh, know his that manner is. of death was suicide. The guy who killed the girl from. How do you not know? How do you not know that? How do you not know who that is? About? That's crazy. Is this like on the news? Or? Yeah. Wait, what? what, what girl? You don't know what either? About? How have you not heard about this? What? Can you just give, it, give us some elaboration? <laughs> this, Maybe this, just, would be, this would be like if I came on and was like, Bill Cosby is, you're like, who's Bill Cosby? Who like, is this guy? Tell me like, It's like, I don't know, just like the most important news story. Not the most important, but like the one that got the most coverage of the year. Who is like, it though? Like, I don't know how to explain to you. It's a guy who killed a girl in the woods. That's it. Oh, that fucking uh, oh, yeah, the road oh, trip that guy. That motherfucker. Well, then you got to give me a little more context, dude. I'm not like, oh, I know their names. Oh my god. So but yeah, like Gabby or something. Yes. Oh yeah. I set up a big joke swing, and it just you guys are like. What was the joke? <laughs> you just told us the news. The joke story. was <laughs> funny joke. that I was like breaking news, like it's gonna be something funny, and it was a oh very yeah, it's serious, kind of funny, yeah, very serious. So so what happened? They like got evidence or something? I he just shot himself. I don't know. Oh, he killed himself. Yeah. Okay. That's that's pretty uh, good. Oh yeah, I mean, that was a good bit. Like, yeah, I'm just sure we really wrapped that one up. 
Jesus. Hey, speaking Christ. of um, speaking lost. of good uh, yeah, <laughs> speaking of good bits, uh, let's just get this out of the way, guys. We have been fully demonetized, Hooray. and um, our, our channel got entirely demonetized for reusing other people's content. Which, funnily enough, this podcast is like the most original form of content I think you can create. There's no video, it's just us talking. But I'm pretty sure it was the 10 seconds of the Wendy's Major Bag Alert commercial that was put in that literally tanked our entire channel. Uh, Because the Wendy's Corporation, I guess you just can't... I mean, we're giving them... We're using their ad to show to people, like... Regardless, yeah, whole thing demonetized. We are allowed to reapply soon, but I don't even know. I mean, I've never seen this on YouTube. I've never been struck across the entire channel, so. But it does give us a good opportunity to announce that we will be starting a Patreon. It'll probably, it will be ready by the time this episode comes out. If you guys want to, I mean, we're not looking to become a bunch of big wigs but i mean i'm literally losing money on this podcast paying uh paying dan to edit it this thing is beyond a passion project just sapping life out of us so we are going to give you the delightful oh. offer of getting the episodes a day early and no other benefits <laughs> so i know that's pretty enticing thank you please Please pay me money. Uh, um. Uh, so you know we got that. That's that's pretty much it. Pretty funny though. We got demonetized already. Yeah, we really were what? five episodes dropping bombs. Four, I think. Four. You Actually, know? three. We were demonetized. I think on the third one. I just didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> you really thought it would have happened sooner, but what? Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I didn't even think we were on the map yet. Like. Yeah, they were quick with that hammer to smite us for our passion. I think Wendy's got the major bag. They got, dude, they probably got our revenue, dude. All this awesome Goomba podcast money going straight up to Wendy's Corp. That little redhead bitch. You know what I'm saying? They got, because Wendy's a real woman. It's like Wendy Thomas or something. She's this big fat bitch with like red hair. And they're pun- they're injecting the money straight in like cryptocurrency bits into her veins, and she's turning into a, like a money robot. Money robot. Beep boop. Give me little bits of cryptocurrency from the Goma Podcast channel. Beep boop. They're like, would you, you like know, a burger, uh, ma'am? Yeah, she would. You mean Bitcoin? You, this, would you like a burger, Bitcoin, ma'am? Bitcoin this guy burger? on my stream the other day was like, "Would you fuck Wendy?" And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah, I would, man." And she's like, "She's eight. <laughs> I was like, what? No, you you what were you referring to about? the adult one. You're referring to the the disgusting old woman one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. That's, that's what I was talking about. You're good to go. I do yeah. not want to fuck great, Wendy. Man. Either age Wendy. Wendy. It's when it's Wendy's nuts. Shut up. I mean Dude. it was it was it was bound to happen. Set up and pay off Wendy's nuts. Wendy's nuts what? <laughs> when these nuts d- balls drop balls dropping i don't uh, know i got vomited on fuck dude i should have prepared some questions dude i'm a dick we can just I didn't even recap think about it. all of pie town i we guess can just yeah tell the whole thing front to back uh for those of you guys who don't know uh we it ended up going to pie town with blazed it's fun. Uh, just this past weekend, it was great. It was a great time, uh, right? Right, yeah. guys. No, that was, it, was it, was awesome. <laughs> it was. It was good. It was enjoyable, and we had pie, a lot of pie. Yep. Um, a lot of pie. Not Matt. a whole lot of pie. Should we, should we just go in chronological order? Or? A normal amount of pie at the end of it. Yeah, but it's pretty good pie. I mean, I. I yeah, can't say right. I've had. Better. I kind of right. shit myself after that pie, dude. Oh, yeah, was it? That I was bad? losing it on the like the last hour of that drive back. I was like, "Fuck, I'm not gonna make yeah, it." I felt nothing, but that's because you got a bitch ass bowel movement system. Listen, uh, so it starts Pie Town, like the trip to New Mexico begins 
for each of us like seven in the morning, which is earlier than any of us have ever been up. <laughs> and we got to drive fucking eight hours. And I've never done that before. I don't, I'm sure you guys have, but I've never done that. So it was like a new experience seeing the world through the lens of like a guy on amphetamine. Right. Because I was the guy on amphetamine driving eight hours to get to I mean, New Mexico. That being said, though, I found the solo drive to be very relaxing. I thought I like it was going to be like dreadful, but, the, you know, you see a lot of cool stuff. I guess. You know, you kind of have time to think. It is really enjoyable. I don't know how much cool stuff you guys saw. I mean, I'm driving to, you want to uh, like, like northern Oklahoma. Yeah, I guess it's just fields Texas, there. Texas. As, as they'll see in the vlog, dude, I got like eight terrain changes. I went through like sandy desert to like deep forest to like rocky mountains. It was pretty cool. None of that. In it's fact, enjoyable. the reason I didn't, I had trouble finding places to pee was because it was so flat that I could have been seen for like a hundred miles. <laughs> Especially with your extremely tall stature. Yeah. They, Can we oh, speak on that not, for a minute? Come on, dude. I am taller <laughs> than you. You just aren't as tall as you, you're, you're, as, you're taller than you thought you were. Dude, I'm, okay, so I'm like one inch shorter than you, right? Right. I'm not 6'3". You're six two. Remember, I said, dude. I guarantee you, I'm not you're taller than you think. I'm not. Because, I'm just not six two. No, because I haven't seen people that are like tall like you guys. Yeah, but you live in often. Grain Town. You're like <laughs> yeah, Mount, Grain like, Town, bro. It's, it's like, like getting people out of North here. Korea, dude. They, they're not getting sustenance <laughs> to grow. What are you talking about? We're, of course, like, you're the tallest guy, dude. It's like eight football teams here. What are you talking about? <laughs> The Oklahoma, what? <laughs> Remind me again? Dude, we've got OU, OSU. We've got like fucking Rose State. We go up against like Texas Tech. We're, we're fucking, we're warriors, man. <laughs> OU's a good team. We're warriors, man. <laughs> yeah, your voice is getting shaky, dude. Oh, you're gay. You're a gay bitch. Listen, dude, you're not 6'4". Let me keep it real. I never said I was 6'4". I'm, yeah. But I'm like, come on, dude. You were like, I'm 6'4", maybe 6'5". Why don't you six, just five. That you're tall because I'm, I'm not. tall, too. I'm not that tall. I'm like six foot. Yeah, how do you know six that? One. Because, dude, I've been to, well, I mean, I haven't been to the doctor recently, but in like senior year of high school, they're like, yeah, you're 5'10". And I've definitely not grown more than two That's inches. That's cap. That's absolutely cap. You're not 5'10", you fucking moron. Well, I know I'm not 5'10 right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm just six so foot. So you, th you think, you think mm, I could have grown two inches in one year, but not three. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking I about? Like, I haven't, you I know, know, my head doesn't hit the fucking ceiling. You're a pretty short, Spoon. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, take it <laughs> easy Blaise out here. Blaze is short, by the way. Blaze is like one foot tall, dude. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's if we're Keep giving coping. Dinkbot this guff, Dinkbot, how much taller than Blaze am I? Less than one inch, bro. Like, what are you talking about? All right, this shit's not adding <laughs> up, dude. We're a bunch of manless. <laughs> no, it's just bad. Like, I think we're short. just three tall men at like varying heights of tallness. Dude, you're like eight inches taller than Blaze. No, I'm not. What? What are you Dude. smoking? Dude, you're on the war path tonight because you're just like throwing <laughs> hands wherever. You trying to turn right, me against Blaze? <laughs> He's just wrong. What? I don't know, dude. I I just think this height. I think we got to break out some tape measures or something. All right, man. I think you're 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 like I'm not tall. <laughs> you guys like, got a yeah. Weird, you guys got man. a tape measure? I, I do. don't have a tape measure. You don't have a tape measure, Dinkbot? No. Please, you got one. What I do. Measuring? What are you measuring? Let's go run this right now, dude. Let's settle this. Yeah, but I'm not doing it. Well, I'm an inch shorter than you, so I was throwing an inch on top. All right, so we can measure Blaze and then add like two. I think Spoon yeah, is but... just just coping. I, I think that's... All right, all right, this break it out. I'll be right back, dude. I'll be right back. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Go break it out. I'm serious. We're going to wait for Get to the bottom of this. this guy. Uh, it'll fucking... take one minute, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Get out Hurry of here. up, bitch. This dude's like, get out of here. Go measure do yourself. You are the... I never said measure yourself. Go do it. Hurry up. We got a fucking <laughs> podcast to do, you mouth breather. Jesus <laughs> Christ. This fucking guy. He's built like a fucking... This guy is so dense. I picked him up. It was like picking up a fucking brick of tungsten. It was <laughs> ridiculous. Blazed is like a fucking. Wait, so what is he? Is he saying that he's short? I guess. I guess that's his argument is that he's 5'10. I, I don't know. He's just not. I, I don't, he is not 5'10. I, I just don't understand it. 
I don't know what his what, he's what, just what wrong. this is. He's just wrong. Yeah. I, so, uh, but whatever. It's whatever. But um, ridiculous, man. But yeah, I I don't want tall because I can't fit in my fucking car. Well, dude, you drive a like miniature clown dude. car. Dude, oh, dude, it's not miniature. I'm five eleven. You're six foot. Yeah, I'm sure you measured that. You are not five eleven. You were just not five eleven. That's just <laughs> all right. Everybody's just in denial here, dude. Like it's fucked up. You're the, you're I, like what you're is. like. No, I'm short. <laughs> like dude, you're just I'm not. I just measured against the wall. You are I, not you fucked it up. You're just not five eleven. You are over six foot. You're literally six like one. No, or two. You're just saying <laughs> that because if I'm five eleven, Blaze, then you're five one. <laughs> You know that's why, dude. You guys, and, are and nobody denial. can fucking counterprove this because he's like Mister Anonymous. He's like, no, you can't see me. All right, dude. Take <laughs> he's it easy. Retarded. Get it together, man. You're making us all look bad with your weird like. Oh, I'm actually five one. No, Wait, so I'm that means to be, I'm being not even six about foot. It. No, he's, he's six definitely foot. six foot. So he's then, where are you six getting foot, five six one. ten from? Five ten. What do you mean? You just measured yourself. No, I'm five eleven. Okay, well, where are you getting oh, 5'11 oh, from? Oh, okay. Dude, I fucking stood up straight against the wall, put my finger where the top of my head is, and measured it. Mm, I'm sure you did it right. I mean, <laughs> um, dude, you are in denial. Listen, man. I'm with Dinkbot. Dinkbot's whole, a whole fucking... I'm willing to I, accept... I'm Mr. Tall, dude. Dude, I live in a world where I don't fit in things because of my height. I don't yeah, know what you to tell you. Yeah, but you live in, like, Hobbit world, bro. No, it's I don't. Oklahoma. It's Oklahoma, dude. Dude, like they are hobbits meat out fed there. People. This is a place designed for obese people oh, to like yeah, they're waddle around, over picking corn all and day. You're and you know, dumb dick, retarded. Like, oh, I'm actually <laughs> one foot tall. Like, what? What is this? What? What is that? All right, you are tall, you know motherfucker. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Listen to Dinkbot. Crazy. What the fuck? This guy is like, dude, uh, you are over actually, six foot easy. Because Ryan is like six f- four. Six five something like Ryan is tall as Dude, shit. Yeah, that's just, and I'm like a little right. bit shorter than him. Like I don't know what to tell you, man. Me and Ryan are two of the tallest people I am aware of. So if you're gonna be like, oh, actually, I don't know, man. Maybe you live in like Mutant City. Everybody got into the toxic waste. Dude, now I'm like not four judging tall. my yeah. height yeah. based on. I'm not judging my height based on my friends. I'm judging my height based on the facts. Dude. You like got it. You like got you into the toxic some waste up barrel. Tape measure. You, it's like yeah, you have a mutation that won't let you read tape measures right, <laughs> and you're fucking. Dude, you guys are in such you. denial that your normal height. <laughs> it's bitch, unbelievable. Dude. You're a bitch. Like, yeah, we're all six no, foot and, eight. No, and what's like, unreal it, is that it's we whatever. all went over this while we were there, and all of a sudden, you're Mr. Turncoat on the podcast, <laughs> like, yeah, these guys are actually short as no, well. <laughs> no, we went over you're being a bitch. Was, what we went over was Blaze is like, oh, you're changing look the it, you're fucking only, narrative, you're only, an, you're only an inch shorter than Dinkbot, and we're like, as a joke, I'm like, oh, that means I'm 6'3", if he's 6'4", but I knew that wasn't true. And now it's like, you know, it's identity this shattering. Dude, uh, un- but real. I got to be honest with how, you. Dude. How you get on this podcast and you start pointing the machine gun at it. Unreal. I'm not pointing the machine gun. <laughs> I'm pointing the tape measure at us, no, dude. dude. You're, you're, you're pointing it the wrong way. You definitely read it wrong. Yeah, a million. I'm not you saying well I'm Mr. Tall, dude. Foot. Dude, anybody Two on place, earth just get could together, tell you man. you're not 5'11. Anybody on earth could tell you that. Anybody on earth could tell could look at you for like one second and be like, "Oh, yeah, that's you're." I think above everybody everybody lies. Everybody adds a couple inches, so it's like, yeah, in a real sense, I'm like six one or two or whatever. But if we're really getting down to the brass tacks here, man, we got to take a couple inches off everybody. And well, you know, I'm I'm believing the measuring tape. I that measuring tape. Did you, you are dirty? retarded. I I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking you got you got into the toxic soup head first i'm in the truth soup dude your i'm not drinking went, any kool-aid and your brain went and it's all goop it's all toxic waste goop right now i think I maybe like you just Avenger, never learned mutant. how to properly read a tape measure oh my fucking god dude <laughs> i think that's what it is yeah because and you know dude, what 71 Actually, you inches are, you are five foot seven now that I think about it, and I'm five foot eight. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you we are go. A little fucking manlet. Jesus Christ! All dude. Is that what you want to hear? That you're a manlet? No, I just I'm trying to be honest with each other about you know our shortcomings. All right, you're shorter than Joe Rogan. 
I am not shorter than Joe Rogan. Yes, you are. We all actually decided. I just got the tape measure out, dude. I'm actually five foot four. It means you're <laughs> you five people, foot three. You people, dude. Are I just got the tape measure out. I just tape measured myself. I'm five foot four. You're five foot three. Wait, what's that make me? Five <laughs> foot eight, dude. You were taller. Nice. Nice. Yes, yeah, it's true. That's cool. True. Yeah, it is awesome. Unreal. I can't believe how how defensive you guys you're are racist. about this. You're racist. See, it's you're <laughs> just wrong. Okay, not, you guys are so full of no, shit. You're dude. full this of is crazy. Just you're full of, music you're full of fucking. Okay, when's the last time you guys actually got your height from a doctor? I went to the not doctor from your friend, and the nurse is like, "How you tall told are you? me, dude?" I and said, you didn't I am know six foot three or four or five, and she went, <laughs> "Yes, you are." And then I but went what, home. She's gonna eyeball I you, don't bro? know, but clearly I'm talking about going up she, to the she fucking wasn't thing like, and they put cap. it on your head. She what wrote it down seven? in a little medical book, and the doctor you could write like, anything there, dude. You could go. I'm one foot one. She'd be like, all right. No, no. what? It's her job to. <laughs> be you really like, think she's gonna be like right. you, dude? She's gonna be like, you're not six three. You're six one. You really think no, she can know that? No, but she would say like, hey, you maybe don't look six three. Let's measure you. Off of t- off a two inch difference? Yeah. You are so full of it. You yeah, can't Blaise, even what about read you? a two inch difference. When's the last time you went to a fucking... You, you evidently uh, don't years understand ago. human height. Like, I don't know... It's been a like, couple what? years. Just accept it, guys. We're not that tall. Dude, I, I, know, I know I was six foot in high school. Like, I don't know. You're like, definitely six foot. Easily cross the six I foot I haven't line. grown in four years. Is that like the argument? I mean, you don't really grow that much height after 18. Okay, you know, wait. To tell you, man. You're saying that you're... Okay, let's go off of this. How much shorter are you than Dinkbot? One what inch. What did you say? One inch? So then you're over six foot, moron. What? No, I think Dinkbot is six foot. You think I'm six foot? Yes. Jesus, <laughs> dude. <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> Please, if you're an inch shorter than me, are you saying you're you're, you're not 5'10"? No. How tall do you, you, you think you're six foot? Dinkbot is well over six. Six foot is 12 times six. Yes, 72 inches. Dinkbot is well over six foot. Are you high? Dude, this is the fucking Cope podcast. You guys need to <laughs> Dinkbot fucking... Dinkbot is well over six foot. foot. I'm not coping. I'm sipping truth tea over here. And you <laughs> guys are real. sipping fucking Kool-Aid. You're literally Something... sipping like falsehood for no reason, T. I don't understand like Dude, what... how is me going up and measuring myself not more you accurate than you wrong. going, in you high school, I was six... up, dude. <laughs> what are you talking up. about, bro? If you are one inch shorter than Dick all right, all right. you are I'm pulling out six. the wild card. I'm pulling it out. Blaze, oh do you remember on stream when you measured yourself and it was 5'10"? Where's that now? That's just... Where's that now? You measured yourself on stream. I think... And it was 5'10". It was what, not, what happened to that? I never that? said that. I never did said that. Did you grow since last week? No. Dude, you showed us. What do you mean? You I fucking show you? showed us. Nuh-uh. You pulled it up on the stream. That's just not true. You, I cannot believe this. You're I can't. I, I will pull up the VOD, dude. Go I for it. I remember the day. Find it. All right. I'll find it right now, motherfucker. Oh, my God. You know, we have a whole podcast to do instead of this fucking... This fucking like brain. Well, maybe rot. if you guys can accept the truth, then we can get to it. Dude, you're a booger eater. You, you're not only just a booger eater. You're also wrong. Oh, I'm Dinkbot. I'm six nine. <laughs> I don't want to accept it. Is there, some, the is there something here, to dude. gain by being short that we don't know? Do no, you? I'm you know, just you know not why? lying. You know dude. why you're doing this is because it's it's easier for you to drag other people down than lift yourself up, motherfucker. I'm Get not trying together. to drag anyone down, dude. I'm just being honest with myself. This but guy is it such correlates a, to you guys. A toxic animal. You're a little beast. Got into the cans. Get out of the cans. Your feelings, man. little five eleven. Oh yeah, man. you got your. I got my fifis hurt. You're a bitch. <laughs> what, what is this argument? Ta- oh, you got. Oh, you're a bitch. <laughs> Dick Butt is definitely taller than six foot. <laughs> At least I trust not. anecdotal evidence no, over not. the facts because you got the facts wrong. Because you don't know how to count! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're ridiculous, That's the weather man. down there, little buddy. It's very cold! He's got a point. Unreal, man. I don't understand how I'm disparaging anybody. Because you're lying! I don't know what to tell you, man. You're lying to the people. 
It'd right, be one Blaze, thing if you're you lying for to us, one, but dude, have never said you're six foot. This guy never fucking... brought up any of this off of the podcast. This, this he That's clicks the record true. button five mean? minutes in. He's like, "What do you talk ta- about the height dude, thing?" Well, we got in this call and clicked the record thing, and it came up. But I mean, what do you want from Unreal, me? Unreal, dude. We you I had like keep my four mouth days shut. to discuss this. We actually could have gotten fucking evidence. And you wait until we're in the fucking opposite sides of the country to be like, uh, actually, you little manlet, <laughs> I'm short, too. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> like, I, it's crazy, Make man. you guys fucking nerd rage in person and then you hit me? Yes, that's what would have happened. Unbelievable, man. I, I should have beat the shit out of you <laughs> for this. <laughs> you motherfucker. No, listen, listen. We... We got to move on. It's been 30 minutes of this fucking <laughs> this height argument. But it's not settled. It's it is right. not, settled. not settled. Go to the doctor. Don't you have a doctor's appointment soon? Oh, my God. It's today. <laughs> oh, my God, oh my dude. God. What? Hold on. Did you miss it? <laughs> Here's him ducking the height thing one more time. Oh, my God. It was 15 minutes ago. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> dude, we made that on the phone. We made the appointment. <laughs> they didn't Jesus text Christ, me it today man. or yesterday oh, or anything. That, that's on them, dude. What? They usually do, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you want to just take a moment to call him up first? I, see. I don't well, I don't care. Do you, Reschedule again. Well, well, dude, I mean, you got to give him a warning. See, Wait. Mr. Doctor's going to be like, where's Dinkbot? No, well, he's already where's Dinkbot because I'm not there. But he's like, he'll come. <laughs> it's only been 15 minutes. <laughs> God damn He's it. sitting alone at the dinner table. Oh, He's almost here. The guy with the horrible shitting problem wants me to the measure his height. The guy with the <laughs> anal blockage. He's coming. He's going to be like, hey, dog, I, how tall am I? You are six foot eight. And, he, and then he's going <laughs> to retroactively measure you and be like, oh, he's actually five foot one. Wow, look at that. <laughs> It's gonna you know be what? crazy. There's got to be some angle here that that we're not getting, Dink. But why would you want to be labeled as shorter than you are? I don't want to be labeled. Ad- I'm not trying to be labeled as shorter than I am. I'm trying to be labeled as how tall I Listen, am. Why? Why is it so bad for us to live a lie? We're not <laughs> living a lie. Thank you. No, thank you. That's fine. Live a lie. But at least I'm not know saying it's we are lie. living a lie. But your oh, whole thing you is being it. like Mr. Truth. All of a sudden, and it's dude, like, because adding what? four, telling me I'm six three, adding four inches is not. You something are not. Are you with. talking about? You're like if six Dinkbot two. Six no, four, I then said I'm six, I'm three, six dude. two. I I am okay. Oh, now you're bringing it down, truth. dude. I walked into New Mexico with the assumption I was six four. I quickly learned I was probably six two. I'm not willing to accept that I'm six foot because that's crazy. It's not. 6'2", it I is. will accept. It is insane. Have you ever average, seen a dude? six foot person ever in your life? Dude, everybody I know is six foot. Okay, well, they're you're all the lying to state, you. Dude. This, guy lives, in, like, a, dude, this you. guy lives in like dude. Sunlight Valley where the average income is like 25 million a year. And he's like, <laughs> oh, I, I have a I friend who's six foot tall and he's one inch taller than me. And he's six foot. No, he's probably so, just wrong. Everybody's just wrong about it. Oh my God, dude. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Unreal. How do you know he's not wrong? Is this the fucking drug addict yeah. kid? Like, what? what is this? <laughs> Hello? No, he's got a point. How, how do you know he's not what lying to you? What are you talking you? about, dude? He's this there. dude's been six foot his whole life. You we get fucking measured. And, dude, wait. He took a big huff off the fucking whippets, and he's like, Whoa, six foot. <laughs> get, get it together, man. Live I in just this new don't world. know how you can have your only evidence be, my friends are all six foot five, and That's I'm taller than everybody. <laughs> That's not my, my evidence. You just said you it. The court you is eliminating it. your tape you measure because you don't know how to count. What are you and talking about? And your only other evidence I, the is like, doctor, they my told friend me Michael that. is six foot. <laughs> <laughs> you just said, all my other friends are six foot. You just said it. You just said that. Did you not? And it's a yeah. much more generalized yeah. opinion. Can't believe you, man. You guys are pathetic. You're pathetic. This is bitch shit. <laughs> you guys are fucking pathetic, <laughs> This dude. is bitch shit. I'm six five, <laughs> and my that. friend Blaze is six three. I'm firmly six two. Blaze is six foot. You are six one. That is literally like the most obvious conclusion. <laughs> like Blaze is not below six feet. He's a very tall man. 
Thanks, dude. He's lanky, dude. You were dense. You were literally like physically dense. <laughs> like I literally couldn't. I had trouble picking you up because even though you are one inch taller than Blaze, you are extremely dense. Yeah, man. <sighs> but listen, all this muscle in here doesn't make me taller. Yeah, I'm sure it was muscle. Listen, <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> Dude, settle with whatever you want. You you can have whatever info you you want in your brain, but me and Blaze are living in one Live in world. your bubble, dude. You can live, live in, in your little bubble. That's fine. This you're, guy can, I'm out here in the real world. Bubble. I've never sure heard someone is. argue <laughs> that they are shorter than they really are. I'm not. I'm you not arguing that. Are. I'm all <laughs> We're all like, you are literally the baseline of six foot, and you're like, actually, <laughs> I'm 5'11". <laughs> like it doesn't make any fucking sense, dude. It's crazy. It's absurd. We need to settle this for real. I I don't think we can, dude. No, oh, we need to settle it for real. We need an impartial third party. Oh my god. And who might that be? I don't know. I mean, I don't know how we're going to do this. But I mean, we have to reach a conclusion here, dude, and I'm not backing down. All right, well, uh, that's fine. It's been 33 minutes of um, <laughs> this. Anyways, guys, Pie Town was yeah, pretty geez. fun. We uh, checked into our Airbnb, you cool know, place. got some food. Good Airbnb. Um, guy had a lot of pickles in the fridge. Yeah, what, we got to talk about that cool. guy. Like, he was. Wait, I wish you guys got to meet him. Because you were the only one who saw him, and we were like, we like his picture is like a real funny guy type picture, but it was a house that was so big that it was like, there's no way it's one man who lives here. But then I think, I think as, he was as just it one lonely further, guy. Yeah. As it went further, we started to accept the fact that it was literally, there's a rich, lonely man who was staying down the street as we, he got cucked by us, by in his own house. Yes. <laughs> he was down the street as we were enjoying his house. And I mean, I I didn't jerk off the whole time I was there, so I think he'll be pleased to know that we didn't like come on his curtains or anything like that. But um, I don't think he's got anyone using those. I wouldn't be so rings. sure. Somebody really? probably who, came on the. Who curtains. do you think would be using that other room, sleeping there? No one. What other? Was there another room? The master bedroom, which he presumably sleeps in, with this nineteen seventies Panasonic yeah. television, right? <laughs> And then his. I came in his bed. Oh. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Disappointing. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh my lord. It's whatever. I just I hope I you know I hope he doesn't feel uh betrayed. You know we tried to take care of the place, but we just got really drunk and threw pistachios everywhere. I thought about it. Yeah, I heard this. Uh, I think it was Burt Kreischer. He's like, I go in a hotel. And I jerk off, and I come on one side of the bed and just roll over and sleep. And I was is like, he I a could fucking do animal? that. Like, what? Well, he's there for one night, but I'm like, well, we're here for three, so I'm gonna have to be civil yeah. about this. No, I, I don't capture. Know, I don't understand that like mentality. Like, all right, time to destroy. It's not a destroy thing. It's like a convenience thing, you know. I guess in like what? the Vegas. Have you guys seen Ghislaine Maxwell's titties? No, they're crazy. Let me let's pull these up. Let me go see if I can find a picture. Ghislaine Maxwell. Mm. Who, who, folks? In case you're not aware, damn. Yes, damn indeed. Is uh, is 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 not perhaps the role model that. Uh, oh, they're not that big. Yeah, but like when they're in that little bra, they're kind of wild. Listen, guys. Um, Ghislaine Maxwell is a oh my god, what famed? Why did trafficker. you send that, dude? <laughs> Delete that. What? I don't want to see that shit. Uh, Why is that an image? That's, that's I still have it open, uh, even though he deleted it. So I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not closing it. Ghislaine dude. I'm Maxwell that is a up. famed, infamous trafficker of uh, young children to be used for sexual activities. She's More importantly, not a good guy, but uh, the headline of this thing: she got some milk. Delaney's titties get a max ten out of ten. <laughs> Dodgy socialized boob flash pick unearthed. What a headline, That's dude! Great. Um, oh, I closed it. Yeah, there's, there's 
you know, they're all right for a woman of her age. Either way, she's probably in prison, though. I don't know what her deal is. Ghislaine Maxwell. We saw her in Pie Town. Uh, we did. Yes. And she tried What's to up, traffic G? Blaze because he's so small. <laughs> Wow, scared. you're the perfect five wow. foot six size. <laughs> beautiful blue eyes. Blaze, by the way, in like I can't I don't know if you can tell on the stream, has beautiful blue eyes. Thanks. Striking. Uh, Very striking. striking. I'm yes. uh, I'm a fashion model. Yeah, you're Male you literally model. like you're an Aryan, bro. You're like what Hitler would have been. <laughs> you like. could literally be a model. Yeah. Come on, man. Hitler was like, if, this shit's cool. That... <laughs> Maybe that's I'm about a that blaze shit. <laughs> You're like a thinner guy. You've got like cut jaw, blue eyes, dude. You could easily yeah, model. Yeah. Think so? You you know anyone in the modeling space? Stussy, hit no. up Stussy. Stussy, hit him True, up. True, dude. Come on, Stussy. man. One day. Stussy. One day they'll hit me up. Yeah, whatever. Come on, Stussy. Hit the man up. I want hit new sneakers. Up. I should have got I new shoes new for Pie Town. New shoes. New t-shirts would be nice. Yeah, more stussies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So Airbnb, and then that's where we meet. And it, I, I didn't, I it didn't need, I did not need an adjustment period. I was like, oh, it's Blaze and Spoon Kid. I, I didn't have to be like, whoa, they're real. <laughs> <laughs> like it was, it was pretty. I was felt, pretty normal. I think. Yeah, it felt pretty normal to me. Like pretty. Yeah, immediately. it felt pretty natural. I don't think it was like. I mean, I'm a little quiet. I think. At first, but like, eh. I'd say you were only quiet in the back because you couldn't hear us because you're deaf for some reason, dude. I already I already met Blaze, so it wasn't Blaze was like me and Blaze are tight, dude. I've met Blaze like a hundred times. Yeah, whatever, pal. But Dinkbot comes in, guns Blaze, and then starts firing off retard jokes, and it's like (laughs) it took me. I think about took me about ten minutes, and I was like, all right, whatever, pal. But you know, this guy comes in, he starts. Screaming! I'm a little mutant in real life. Oh, I'm a but I mutant. like it. You know, you, you you do not change at all. No, no, he's very. Dickbot is the exact same. <laughs> Maybe to a T, dude. Yeah. Yeah, man. What, what am Maybe I gonna a change? Little more like Dinkbot. Yeah. Except he's a more physical man. He, I think the first thing you did was you picked us up. <laughs> I, I have a lot of physicality. I'm very, I, I do a lot of hand gestures and head movements and. Stepping, he picked Blaze things. up by the neck and yeah, I picked him up by the it. pussy. <laughs> I just held him in the air like a fucking like a like the kid from the little baby lion from Lion King. Yeah, Dinkbot came in. He's like, oh fuck, I'm only half an inch taller. I gotta pick him up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Whatever, pal. Yeah, I wanted sure, to see how yeah. dense you guys were. <laughs> the density argument has been settled. Let's get some density ratings yeah. out, dude. How we feeling? You're the densest man I've ever met in my life. And what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> I'm like 170. It was crazy. Because compared to... Because you're not like taller than Blaze significantly. And to me, you guys both look like thin people. So I was like, all right, I'm going to pick him up. And it was like twice as hard as picking up Blaze. Like literally twice as difficult. Really? Blaze, I, I got... I, I almost threw him into the ceiling because I <laughs> expected to use as much force as I did on you. And I was like, oh my God. He's so yeah, light. Man. I'm light. I have a strict fitness regiment um mm. strict dietary it is crazy that you just are like mr five guys like and you're just chilling like that what can i say i, I like five guys. i think it's because he's mr five guys as his one meal a week i guess one meal a week what do you say to no. that blaze yeah i like at least three times a week minimum no i meant That's like crazy. you eat one meal a week total he just said he doesn't i, yeah, no, I ate five <laughs> guys <laughs> As if you were eating five meal, guys three times a day, dude, Colorado. you'd be fucked. I was eating it two times a day at one point, but that was kind of unhealthy. Kind of expensive. You're telling me. Yeah, very expensive. Very unhealthy. Very yeah. all of the above. But yeah, go. very good, though. Very good. Dude, I don't know about that. Like, Really? We, we should have gotten five guys while we were there, because I, like, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it either. It's really good. I mean, the burgers are good, but fries are meh, yeah, and the burger's are not, like, fantastic, it's, but it's good. I mean, it's, it's like, definitely, like, A tier of fast food. I guess. Easily. Like, S tier. What? I don't know. The two I times know, I've gotten dude. it, like, 
It was just like a pile. It was like a pile of meat on some. Honestly, bread. it just feels like a. It feels like a quarter pounder. To yeah, me. and the bread has become oh, entirely dude. vestigial because it's like greased up so much that it's just like yeah melting. It, the bread is way worse than McDonald's bread. Come on. And then the cheese is undo it. You can't do the cheese. The the cheese is pretty bad. Yeah. I'll admit. But I don't know, man. Maybe we'll go there sometime. You can get get us like the blazed burger, and we can just try that. Yeah, the no no meat bread grilled burger. Yeah. No, I, it's just no cheese. That's it. Dude, come on, man. You're already losing us. I don't. We got we got burgers. Every every restaurant in New Mexico is just like Chili's. Like that was kind of weird. We went to like what five yeah, different restaurants. Yeah, and a lot of Chili's. Th- I mean, the Indian one was pretty cool, but like. I mean, every restaurant was like kind of the same food. It was kind of even Wex. Wex was cool. I got Wex my Wex. Pen Wex in is my like hand right now. Yeah, Wex is like pr- primo IHOP, and you did steal that pen. Blaze Bla- stole the pen from Wex. Yeah, I did, but it's a good pen. Dude. It's a good pen. Come on, yeah, it writes well. I like. What it. do you I write? Did you, did you get those like special pens we got at Walmart? I got for you at Walmart, Blaze. Do you still have those? Yeah, I still have them. They're oh in my, my car. God. We have Mister. We're we're going through the aisles like these pens are incredible. <laughs> <laughs> they are, dude. Dude, the- yeah. you know what I got? What I still got from Walmart? What? You know those limes? limes? You got all are the limes. You, when you I was in the traffic home? jam, dude. Oh, dude, the, I still have oh, them. My. When I was in the traffic jam, I was like, I am going to peel this lime perfectly. <laughs> so I spent like an hour, like you know, so I peel the initial shell off, and then I would, you know, all the white stuff on the outside. Okay, yeah. I literally got every speck <laughs> off until it was like this. If you held it up to a light, you could see right through it, like a transparent <laughs> green orb. And then I ate the whole the thing, dude. Orb. It was amazing. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's like the most Guys, therapeutic let's thing just ever. Take a minute. Spoon eats limes like oranges. Like, yeah. that is not yeah. normal. It was okay. pretty Oh, dude, they're good. See. It's not. He, he was literally it was like, I have scurvy and started just <laughs> eating limes. <laughs> that's true i mean that is Wild. very true that is well dude i just don't think they're like i feel like people have more of a sensitivity to like sour but when i was like a kid eating like those what are those like candy warheads or whatever okay yeah i think i just like burned off my tongue so now it's just like you know tastes good i don't know it tastes like it tastes like an orange mr orange yeah that's leader. just not right well i don't know man i mean it you know Kind of healthy, burns off your enamel, upsets your stomach. I mean, like, you're a booger eater. I, I, I mean, it's not like an eight ten. I would just have one every night. I Maybe guess, two. man. Maybe two. I might have snuck one you in the bed. Eat, one like of the a nights. lime, and then like drink like two Bud Light limes, and then like eat some Lebon chips. This guy was crazy, man. I'm a big lime guy, Mister Lime over here, dude. I I've been like trying to fill the excitement drinking void just by drinking drinking mm-hmm. it's been much sadder i poured half it's a lot. i poured like well i don't know a quarter of a bottle of rum into a two liter of mountain dew and drank a lot of that it was really delicious but then i had to walk that's, to the that gym. sounds a lot dude what i got mountain really dew drunk. drunk at the gym i got really drunk yeah but I had I had a pretty I had a terrible workout, but it was two hours because I was really breaking everything back in. I but isn't working out drunk really bad for you because you don't like feel when you? I'm definitely. I've heard that like you won't sore. feel when stuff breaks. I'm very or, like, very you know. sore, but no, I I sharply felt the pain. That's why it's such a terrible workout because like because like fucking. <clears throat> I, I tr- like I haven't used my fucking shoulder muscles, so I'm trying to get this fucking thing above my shoulder. I'm like literally 50 pounds weaker because usually I can do uh, 45s on each side, and the fucking the bar itself is 45. Right. I was like just trying to get my fucking shoulder muscles up there, I just wouldn't do it. And I was like, all right, I gotta go lower. Did you have someone spot you? Fuck no. Well, I mean, what do you, what do you do if you just fucking <sighs> just drop it to the ground? I Die. guess. I don't know. It's- Oh, you're benching? I bench, I bench like lighter weights if nobody's there, or I use that machine where there's not a bar. Oh, okay. But okay. with shoulders, it's much less risky. Um, what else? Yeah, I was just weak, but I did like thirty minutes of cardio. It was pretty crazy because That's good. I've I've long theorized 
that the reason Oklahoma has such a high obesity rate and possibly one factor that contributes to my f- morbid obesity is that here in Oklahoma, the elevation is so low that like doing casual activities or even just like your like resting metabolic or whatever is much lower than it would be in other places because the air is so uh, th- not thin, right? I'm going to burp. No, I'm not. Right. Is that is there is really it, it, I mean, what's the elevation in Albuquerque? Is it higher. that much higher? It was kind of high, I think. Yeah, I've like never seen a mountain, dude. It's 5,000. Well, it's Spoon's like, look at the trees and it was like the yeah, most He's never crazy seen a tree thing. before. <laughs> it's like insane. <laughs> what, dude? There's not a lot of trees out here. Oklahoma trees. City elevation is 1,200. Okay, yeah, so it's like almost a whole mile difference. Yeah. I don't I don't know if that do you like notice I, I was like, like it I, was a little harder to breathe up there for sure. Or in Albuquerque, uh, not like up there, but in Albuquerque, like it took me a day or two to like, cause like I showed up and I was like trying to do bits and like run around and stuff. And I was like, Hey guys, what? <laughs> but then we were walking around on like day two or whatever. And I was fine. So it took a minute. Yeah. I definitely noticed that while skateboarding, I was like, man, I'm getting tired quick. Yeah. I just Pretty cool. live in this altitude, so I yeah. I can't tell if I'm at if it's altitude or out of shape. Yeah, dude, probably, you're like Mr. Uh, Sports all of a sudden. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we, Blaze goes hard. Blaze is dude. like a, 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 an athlete, which we were not when? aware of. When, dude, golf, skateboarding, oh, dude, pro I hit golfer. like four really bad golf shots. No, dude, we were at Top Golf, which kind of sucked, but whatever. But Top Golf, you know, it's what we're just terrible at it. Blaze gets on the stick and literally like knocks one into like the fucking net on the other side of the thing. Like hits it into like all these like middles of the greens and shit. Like he's just he's nuts. He's it's like 40 points and like three balls and we're sitting there at zero cuz we can't we keep hitting the floor with the <laughs> fucking ball. Don't tell short. Dinkbot got four points. I got, four I got points. zero. That's cuz I shot four him on accident. <laughs> That's true. That was part <laughs> so, of it. <laughs> a couple of zeros and Blaze is hitting like 50s like come on guys. I'm it's not, not that, that hard. hard. No, he's not he's not even like he's not even like come on guys. He's like Okay, and then sits down <laughs> quietly. That hurts so much more. <laughs> He's not even proud. And then we're dude. Like, he just balls like, up. What? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. not that good. <laughs> <laughs> like, the leagues above us. I Crazy, mean, man. I mean, maybe if you've like never played golf before, sure. Yeah, yeah maybe that's it. But Dinkbot apparently has played golf. Yeah, I was okay, so well. drunk that I forgot how to play. But that's that's, that's on Dinkbot. Went to top. What else did we do? Went to the skate park. Yeah, and Blaze immediately fucking drops in, hits a fucking 980 ollie flip kick, <laughs> hits a kid in the face when he was trying to pull out a gun with the skateboard by jumping onto him, <laughs> and then and then landed on the floor after an ollie and went threat threat eliminated. It was crazy. He did do that. It was insane. I almost uh, did do that, busted Blaze. my head open multiple times. You did not. Uh, Kevin did. Yes, I did. Uh, dude, I f- <laughs> dude, my shoulder is still fucked. That was funny. He drops the ball. I dropped and immediately in. Falls I drop over. in on a three foot ball or a three foot bowl or not even a bowl, just three foot. Immediately road rash, <laughs> fuck my shoulder, and then I drop in on. I don't know well, how tall was that? Six feet. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I drop in on a six foot easy. Nothing. Yeah, it was. It was like I don't know what the fuck you, was going on. Taller than me. <laughs> All right, dude. Take it easy. True. Yeah, no, no, yeah, nobody could even see up to it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, it was like a foot or two above us. It was like five foot. <laughs> 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 it's whatever. It, it was. It was wild, man. And then we that left because the skate park was people. a good time. I skate was park was fun. Scary yeah. skater people showed up. Always a lot of skater people, and I've never felt like I. Fit in with that crowd. They're always so no. angry looking. I know they. Re- they like you know. What do you? And have then to we be brought out the helmet, about? dude. We brought the helmet out. I was nailing the yeah. coffin, dude. Nah, I think but, that was a good idea. Oh, for sure. Fuck, fuck, not wearing a helmet. If you're like just getting back into it, dude. Dude, I even Would think if you're like a yeah. seasoned skater, wearing a helmet's a good idea. No, oh, it's for always a good idea. idea. Yeah. Believe yeah. it or not. I mean, I believe it. It's part, I don't really there. understand the like, we don't wear helmets thing. Like every time I've ever seen someone argue it, it's like, 
well, skating's all about risk. So if you can't accept the risk, you shouldn't skate. It's like, dude, what are you talking like, about? Like, bro? Lo- like hurting your knees, when like losing your brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to become fucking that, that's mentally why they challenged? Look so fucking like angry all the time because they're like smiling nerves were bashed out of their head. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, man, because it's like. They say, like, a cocaine addict, like, you slowly, like, lose parts of your personality until you're just, like, a, you're kind of, you, like, you embody a cokehead. It's, like, it must be the same thing for skating. Like, you embody a skater after a few fucking weeks of, like, dropping in a bowl, landing on your fucking head, f- like, face first. I, I, I think I it's know. all about, like, sticking it to the man. We're not going to wear helmets because they told us to. Dude, they live to. in fucking Albuquerque. It's like the it's like yeah, Mr. Dude, Chili's the up. city. Like I would <laughs> <laughs> fucking yes. weird. It's like literally the most white. <laughs> I did not see one black person the whole time I was there. Dude, I don't think we did. I think you're right. I literally don't remember seeing one. It was it was it, it is very very white. <laughs> Mr. Chili. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it was silly. I was like, "What are you so mad about? Your parents make like four hundred thousand a year." Like, <laughs> it was weird. A- anyway, whatever, man. Uh, enough about the skaters. I, I don't hate them that much. Ah, uh, the mountain. Should we talk about the mountain? Is that even really the mountain, worth dude? We went about? on a went on a gondola up to the mountain. Oh my god, I had completely forgotten about the mountain. Yeah, the mountain kind of sucked, dude. Really the gondola, sucked. they fucking. Oh my god, dude! When he was talking about okay, so they pack like fifty people into this tiny thing to go up the mountain, and this motherfucker who's like commentating has the audacity to be like, "We actually pack all these people in for your safety to weigh it down." I'm like, "You stupid!" And everyone's like, "Oh, you stupid!" But you could make the fucking thing heavier. You just want to sell more tickets, you bitch. Like it's just for you guys. If we only did ten and we actually gave you space to breathe, yeah, it wouldn't work. Literally packed wall to wall. It's like Astro World. It was so yeah, bad. So if you're in the middle, you can't even see. Yeah. You can't it's do fucking, anything. This thing's like rocking back and forth. You're like bumping into people. I got horribly motion sick. Well, you like, get motion you feel, sick like doing anything. Immediately, yeah. Yeah, but dude, I mean, you you know, Pag, you can barely breathe in this thing. It's like rocking back and forth. You look down a thousand feet and then you get let out at the world's thinnest air. Yeah. You're like funny. on Everest gasping for breath. <laughs> and they're like, no, you, we don't have water. <laughs> no, no, there what was, was water that? in the vending machine. Yeah, yeah you had like, to go to the vending machine. They have one yeah. tiny restaurant fucking... there, and they're like, "If you want water, it's an hour away." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, that's true. It was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, uh, but also the vending machine that only takes ones and doesn't take card yeah, or any bills other ones, than ones. We would have been, we would have been <laughs> gasping, dude. Because we I did not it. prepare oh, water for some reason. Or yeah, well, because I figured it'd be more like human friendly up there. <laughs> like, yeah, it right. was like very human unfriendly. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it was there was like one building and what else? I don't know. Was, and the views weren't even that cool. Yeah, it was dude. like trees, it was like all blocked by trees yeah. and shit. And everybody worked there it was like a fucking dweeb. Like, hey, so this is the. Superest mountain in New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, that's the guy up uh, made that one dumbass joke, and I it ruined my day. Which one? I don't even remember. You don't remember? <laughs> it just pissed me off. There was the one guy who he was, was like making a uh, lot of dumb jokes. Yeah, it was pretty bad. The one guy was like, "So there's a lot of um." <laughs> <laughs> like ten minutes, he's like squirrels <laughs> and um ch- ch- chip chipmunks. I think chipmunks. I forgot chipmunks his ten minute script. Yeah, he's like I've been doing been this for, 16, for ten years, yes, twelve, fifteen years of like riding up and down this mountain. I thought he was having a stroke. I was like, I'm gonna have to call somebody. Like, what is this? It was Something a wacky like experience, that. man. It was interesting. I. I didn't hate Honestly, it. Honestly, I didn't like it very much. I, I thought I it was a waste of time. It was a waste of money, a million percent. Yeah, it was and like forty five hundred dollars yeah. to get up on that mountain. Can we talk about what wasn't a waste of time or money? What's that? The gun range. The gun range was. Yeah, that was pretty, it was pretty based. <laughs> uh, very based. But I, very fun. Oh yeah, I don't remember whose idea. I think we were we set it on like day one. And then we just well, I mean, did it. we walked into the gun range. Like, we, we made an appointment an hour before. 
walked in and walked in five minutes after we made the appointment. <laughs> And they were like, "Oh, you can just go now." Yeah, we didn't. You didn't have to make an they appointment. They fucking gave us like a billion guns for like one dollar. We signed like one page liability <laughs> form. Literally, just put in my email. Like that was it. Yeah, that's it. And then I literally paid ten dollars per gun to use as many like fucking bullets as I wanted. It, it was it was crazy. Um, I got to shoot a fucking Uzi. Yeah, thing. yeah. But, but he's like Good left the room gun. at one point and we came back with an Uzi. Uh, yeah, I couldn't help myself. Yeah, Mr. Uzi. Just let it rip, dude. We got an AK. Yeah. The AK that was, was crazy. The AK, get that was this. That good. $30. $20 for the AK and like $10 for the rounds. It was it was just like... It's a steal. Yeah, man. He literally gave us like an AK-47. And we just... And there's like no supervision. Just... No, absolutely like, not. Walk in and just have fun, I guess. Yeah, man. So we just we just squeezed them off. It was pretty cool. I got the cool lever rifle. And by the way, awesome. I asked my dad, I can just buy that. Like just on like Walmart.com. <laughs> like I don't think I have to sign anything. They'll just deliver it. So That's crazy. Well we you getting the lever rifle or what? I uh, very well may. I very well may, my friend. Just if I ever go to a gun range with like my f- my family or friends, the most inconvenient self defense gun. Like, where's a robber in the house? You're like, oh, I gotta fill him like with like eighty fucking place rounds. Place each bullet individually and like squeeze loaded. Them. I'm keeping that thing loaded. You gotta get some, like a case for it at least. Yeah, there's like fifteen rounds in that thing. Pop the safety off, lever it, fucking pop, pop, pop. And I could do levering in my own home. There ain't no... F- and here's one thing. If you buy a gun with too high of a caliber, you risk, like, over-penetration. Like, oh, I'm going to shoot through this guy and into, like, the next house and, like, kill their cat. Like, right. if I got 22, I'm pumping that guy with 15 bullets, and they're not going nowhere. They're staying in that guy. Half of them are bouncing <laughs> off his <laughs> shirt. <laughs> He's a like, fucking Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys you guys underestimate the 22 you guys really you're underestimating it it's a fun no, gun sure to shoot there ain't uh, there, listen man there ain't no bullet it's something to play with you know what i'm saying like so careful guys why don't you continue this i gotta pee real quick i'll be right back fuck? what the fuck i, I gotta run the Get pee. Get the dude. fuck out of here we're an oh, hour dude. in but i feel like we just got uh, like half of it was hype, so we'll, I'm, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it moving a little bit <laughs> i'll be right back uh, dude, news alert, please. Uh huh. Keeping up with like the Will Smith saga. I have no idea. Like Will Smith's wife is like, oh uh, yes, I have a, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> and then Will Smith is like, uh, I don't. Will Smith has been having a lot of like weird problems. But here's a new headline: Will Smith says he used to have so much sex he would actually throw up. The 53-year-old explained that because he was having so much rampant sex, he developed a psychosomatic reaction to orgasming and sometimes vomited during the act. (laughs) That's pretty badass. Why would you, like, want that posted? That's that's what everybody's been saying is, like, dude, stop doing interviews. Oh, he interviewed and said that? Yes. He literally, like... What an idiot. Him and his wife are presenting these facts. Like, it's wild. You don't remember the thing where, like, the meme where Will Smith is crying on TV? Yeah, yeah. That's what that's, like, from, is, like, like, (laughs) him and his wife are on TV, like, talking about their... The wife had, like, an affair or something like that. It was weird. It's this whole Will Smith thing, man. He's He's like, I am legend. And then he's like, I am cucked. (laughs) <laughs> I'm throwing right, I'm up. Yeah, he's back, everybody. We're having a mm. constructive conversation without any of the absurdist. Don't even. Don't bitch even. made this. All right, what were we talking about? Gun, and then trampolines. Mm-hmm. What, no, we, we went didn't to the trampoline we part. Something, I think, dude. Well, we skipped the trampolines. No, but that was after the guns. We're skipping something from like the day before, I think. Okay, Saturday we woke up, breakfast, pie town, top golf, fire pit, sleep. 
Did we do anything on the day Should. we got there? Indian yeah. food, drive around, come back. Drink. Breaking Bad House. Breaking Bad House. Breaking Bad House, dude. Yeah. It's in uh, cr- insanely uh, irresponsible state of disrepair. The, the guy has replaced the roof with a metal one. And has built like a fucking industrial like Auschwitz fence around the fucking house into the street. So you can't even like like we had to like park like across the fucking way. It it was ridiculous, man. It was like the most ridiculous. It's like this guy wants everybody to know he's the breaking bad house. Like because I guess people Yeah, have been but the lady over just and, sits out there and yells all the well, time. She's a fucking moron for buying that house. Sell it for fucking like eight hundred thousand dollars. She probably well, bought it apparently. for apparently. So apparently what I guess I was wondering like how that works. Apparently they owned it the whole time, even before they shot. <laughs> and Breaking Bad wasn't actually shot in the house. It was on a set. So yeah, they'd right. only use it for the outside shots. Yeah. So apparently they just like would rent it out for just a short period to Breaking so Bad. So this lady's to use like, it. okay, I'll totally accept money to put my house on like a huge budget television show. Which, by the way, couldn't have been very much money. No, it's probably like two thousand so? dollars. Yeah, no, because they're shooting. A f- they probably shot all that in like a week. Yeah. Mm, so just to I be think like it was a fair amount. I don't know, dude. Once you sign the liability shit, you, like you just—I don't know—it seems kind of brain dead. And and uh, added detail: we did not disturb them. We parked way down the street and just sat in the car for a minute. Yeah. We did not go up and harass them. But honestly, kind of wanted to harass them more. It would have been funny to get yelled at. Like the stupid signs, like, do not walk on our sidewalk. And like, I mean, it was a bit much. Yeah, go there and just start screaming. I mean, I I, I think. No, come on. (laughs) (laughs) I think it'd be pretty funny. Just like ring their doorbell. Be like, "Uh, delivery for you. And just (laughs) scream (laughs) in their fucking face. (laughs) <laughs> Pull out a lever yeah. action right bah, 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 bah. I don't know, man. Don't do that. Guys, don't do that. Don't, don't do, do that. That, that wink. Don't idea. do that, please. <laughs> doink, doink. <laughs> <laughs> What's the sound it makes? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't even hear that thing Dude, with the earplugs. Oh my god, on. I just found a Reddit post about those I did that stickers. What? Huh? You remember those stickers we would see? The yeah. the I did that with Biden? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Who's placing those? They're like everywhere. Well, I see every time yeah, I get to a gas pump, it's like I know. And I was I like, is it. this one guy doing this that's been everywhere no. I'm going? Oh, no, of course not. Like, where what is that? It's like a supreme sticker. Like it probably sell like a billion of them. People just put them everywhere. Just I guess like retard boomers, like Well, I think it's supposed to be like a like look at the gas prices or something, I guess. Oh. I did and that? Then, the gas? Yeah. Was, and then, and then, Much like, cheaper Joe Biden than is... it normally is. <laughs> it, it was twenty dollars for me to fill up my tank. Well, well then, he did that. He did that. Yeah, I guess he did it. Yeah, because I, I didn't understand it. Because they remember they would put like I did that in like the Pie Town store, just like yeah. Th- well, that place was like based as fuck. I well, guess. it wasn't. Like, it was like it was like QAnon shit. It was weird. I, know, I thought base was like Pie Town was pretty uh was pretty based. Yeah, yeah. Pie Town was pretty base. Pie Town, uh, Pie Town was a good yeah, time. Great. Um so we got Breaking Bad House dealt with. Remember when I had to t- I told that lady what a latte was and she made fun of me? Yeah, she's like, What are you a fucking Jew? I, I we were getting yeah. pie and she's like, Do anybody want coffee? And I'm like, Yeah, I, I can I get a latte? And she just she looked, looked at me like funny retarded, for a second. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know, just like milk. And she's like, oh, you mean a latte with the cream? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, I, I like, I th- felt like I insulted her, but like the way she looked at me was like she's never heard that word in her life. I, well, what, like, what do they do in Pie hates, Town? Like, they don't know what a latte is. California city people. dwellers. It's weird to live in like a travel town and be like half of the country that travels here. I'm gonna fucking condescend, but I guess. That's how it is. I don't. I don't know. Oh no, she was sweet though. She was a nice. Lady. I don't think she meant it in like a mean way. I think. I she think she was insulted like, that I elaborated, but it looked like she had never heard it before. She was. Well, like, it was she, like that thing when we were in Wax, and I'm like, "Oh, ABQ's nice," and she's like, "You mean Rio Rancho?" Yeah. 
Do you mean uh, this yeah. like slightly whiter? Like, sure. dude, even the homeless people were white in in Albuquerque. Everybody was white. Everybody. Yeah, I wasn't paying. I was just like, I was enjoying the view. It was crazy, man. I really didn't think Albuquerque was that bad. I mean, we didn't really like. No, it wasn't you know. bad. It was just like, I I I, I don't know. It's it was weird. It was it was it scared me. Like there was people that are like, you got to watch out. And it's like for what? I mean, it was pretty enjoyable. It wasn't. Yeah, but we weren't in a bad area. We were in no. the nice suburb. But even like when we drove through, it was normal. It was like I didn't. I, no, dude, I would have walked. Car, I would have walked around. I'm not even. Some kidding. of those areas, I don't think I'd want to walk around. I would have walked around downtown. That, that would. That would have been bad. I there was no around. lights. Like on. in those dark, in the dark yeah. areas, we have. There's no street lights, and there's just like a junkyard Literally, like, with a man. Eight blocks of like homeless people staring. It's kind of weird. It's a weird place, man. I liked it. I liked Albuquerque. All right. It was all right. It was all right then, yeah. Hello. How you doing? Hello. Blaze, how you feeling about, uh, how, how did you feel? I know you streamed yesterday. How how was your comeback scream? Did you feel any different after a, a nice break? Uh, nah. <laughs> not, not really. I, I mean, like, yeah. it was nice, but I was looking more forward to making, like, a YouTube video mm. than just streaming. Right. Yeah, I... Yeah, I mean, I, I felt like Pi Town was like the first time in a long time where we were able to just record without any of that instant feedback. Like, I'm so used to like, because every video I'm also doing live. Right. Like, this constant feedback, this constant, like, everything has to be entertaining. But when you're recording, it's really nice because it's like, oh, if you're silent, it doesn't matter. Just cut out stuff. And it's a lot more of a relaxed way to make content. Mm. Well, I mean, that's like the YouTubers that like, who like just do YouTube and don't stream, like Rust YouTubers, you know, like right, it's yeah. the same thing. It's much more peaceful, but you also lack that instant feedback and kind of like. But honestly, the instant feedback is starting to be something that I don't even like. <laughs> no, For like, I don't. I don't really get anything out of that. It ju- it just stresses me out. Yeah, and that's also true. I agree. With you know, people just, don't understand setup and payoff. Because people, you know, people come into the stream and they watch for three minutes and they're like, why isn't, literally, I see like, why isn't something interesting happening? <laughs> right. Why isn't he talking? It's like, dude, I can't be entertaining eight hours a day. You know, so uh, especially like, with Rust too, they're like, dead server. It's like, okay. I mean. It's like, dude, I, I fucking run for five minutes and don't see a guy and I get game. shit on. It's like. Right. I mean, I think that that's, I think that's just a Rust thing. I'm not gonna lie. I never see that kind of like behavior in other streams, ever. And I've never seen someone go. I mean, I've seen people go like, "Oh, this stream's boring." But like, you know, like you don't see people going like, "Oh, like you're not entertaining," or this or that, or like whatever. Like you don't see it any. Just pretty much rust. Mm. Like for the most part, right? And it's like a stigma. yeah. I think I think you're right. I think the Twitch Rust community can be really toxic. It's it's both really toxic, but also like really nice and not really bad. Like it, I think it just really depends. But it's... I notice it worse when I when I'm number one on the Rust page and I get all of these new people who are just like randomly like clicking. That's when it's really bad. Yeah, like I mean... my community, like people who are subbed and stuff. When I go in sub only mode, it's a whole different stream. Yeah, I mean, that's well, Like, fun. these fucking people who click on the stream and just go, fuck this guy, or just, you know, like, constant. It just becomes, like... Well, it's because it, does, like, it doesn't, it doesn't, It doesn't get to me personally, but it's just, like, it just becomes, like, I don't even want to entertain these people. I don't want to deal with them. Yeah, I mean, that, but, like, that's... I guess that's kind of comes with the territory of being number one in the Rust section. Like, especially during your hours that you stream, like, midday... Or whatever, kind of like right. literally when I hate to say it, like when all the kids and shit are up and out yeah. of school and not doing anything, because like, I- but it, dude, it's so different on YouTube though. Like YouTube, like something about Twitch, something about it being like, oh, this comment will disappear in one second. People are just like dickheads. When on YouTube, we get like such positive feedback, and if we do get like negative stuff, it's like 
oftentimes constructive or it's like funny. I get kind of like, I get just, the same comments where it's like dead server on my YouTube like comments. It's like what? I mean, I literally. How could you ever have ever, you know, even? But my Twitch is kind of the opposite. It's like I get I get mostly nice comments and the occasional like weird one. I I think it's just like on Twitch people come from YouTube, especially for you. They come from YouTube and they expect that because YouTube's always entertaining, just like you said. You know, you could cut shit out that's boring and whatever. But with right. Twitch, obviously, you can't do that. And so they come from YouTube to Twitch expecting like some really entertaining 24 7 8 hours full entertain mode but like obviously that's that's not possible so i think yeah. it has to do with that and like again the factors of like being number one on it and also streaming like day hours like that's why i like nighttime because it's just really chill and it's mostly just like it's not you don't have it's like an older audience yeah you don't have like children screaming down your ear basically i mean i still do but no it's definitely less yeah yeah it's a lot less yeah it's a lot it's a lot less think but how do you feel about streaming okay, or at least coming back less. oh uh i've never wanted to edit less in my entire life yeah Woo <laughs> yeah! speaking of editing do you, are we dropping a video yeah, today i haven't even started so Hopefully. <laughs> okay. I have there's a sponsor for it. I'll put it in the folder. Alright then. I just woke up before this podcast, just like wake and bike. We were uh, talking about you yesterday, talking about how you could go like variety mode. Who me? But spoon and dink butt. I was gonna say don't talk you. about me. Sorry. Period. <laughs> Wait, what? No dink butt. Wait, what are you me. saying? Me me and you were talking about dink butt? No, no. I was talking about you going variety, like on Twitch and stuff. And you I think it could maybe work. Okay, I feel like there's this graph where if streaming Rust has its benefits, right? And stuff. Right. But then, like, the longer you stream Rust, the less those benefits kind of are there. And, like, you're, you're going to peak at some point in the Rust section. And then, like, from there, it's like only downwards so right like if you could find like the optimal time to leave the rust section and go variety whether that's just one other game or something like i feel like that would be the move instead of like because like there's people that there's like streamers who've streamed rust for like you know five years or something right and it's like, right. you know, they've sort of, they sort of, like, I hate to say it, but they've declined because they do the same thing day in, day out for, you know, five years or whatever straight. But, like, I feel like if they had left the Rust section and done Variety, like, you know, three years ago, they might be a lot bigger than, than where they are now. Yeah, I think there is a certain point, and I'm probably getting there where it's like, I think you're getting there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not at a point where I'm growing on Twitch. Unless Rust, off of Rust. gets way bigger, like like Fortnite bigger, which I don't think it will, at least not anytime soon. But unless Rust gets way bigger as like a game, I I think, I think you're you're there. I think like I mean at a certain point I'm not gonna. I have to keep Rust at least as part of it because that's such a big part of our content. Like Spoon Kid 2 is like something that we got to ride as long as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, it's I agree. Like I mean, my a great promotional tool. Right. My thoughts was like, it's a lot of kind of effort, maybe not a lot of effort, but you know, you play Rust for your normal five hours a day, whatever. And then you do variety straight after that, like three times a week. Because that should yeah. be enough content for Spoon Kid 2 and whatever else. And then also should be enough content for, like, variety on top of that. I definitely think that's a move. I've just been having trouble, like... Because I've, I've done a lot of one-off variety. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I don't have a game that I feel... Like, Rust is just so easy for me to, like, boot up and just play. Mm -hmm. I don't have another game where I feel like I can just play it. It's like, I have to put an effort, like, find one game... 
and then play it for a day. But it's like, yeah, I don't I know, it's agree. hard to find one that you can just kind of stick with. And finding a new game every time is like really difficult because you don't know well, like, if those, the content's like, going to be good. Those, uh, The Simpsons and shit, like that stuff was pretty good. Like you right, could just. But that's do, like, really a one off thing. Right. But I mean, I think you could do that. And then, like, through that, you could maybe make series. Like, you know, if people like Minecraft a lot, for example, do another Minecraft video. But you start right. as, like, a one-off thing and then go, go from there and see what... I think Minecraft like. has potential because it has a big community. It's a lot easier to make content. And, you know, I already kind of know what I'm doing. So I'll probably start... Like, when me and Dinkbot did the Survival Island video, that was super fun. And it was one hour of recording for a 30 minute video mm-hmm. which is like crazy compared to rust so right yeah i don't know it's just i don't know i'm just kind of lazy it's just like yeah but I, I gotta get on it no i mean it makes sense i just that was like my thought like i, I just feel like there's a certain point where you just you kind of peek out in rust and from there it's like only downwards i'm not saying you've hit that point and you're like oh for sure declining but, but yeah I, I get what you're saying and there's also a point where there's just not that much content in rust anymore like I mean, once you've like done, I feel, yeah, it's like yeah. I mean, we you know. I think we made a video on everything. Yeah, at this point, I've done everything in the game. I've streamed almost everything in the game, so now I'm making videos, and I feel out of ideas, sort of. Right. I'm like, well, you. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to get the passion sucked out for Rust content. Yeah. I mean, you have to choose between, like, entertaining yourself and not really being very entertaining in terms of, like, streaming or YouTubing. And then there's, like, you could alternatively be very entertaining to the people, but it's not as entertaining, like, by yourself, you know? Right. I don't know. Yeah, it's like putting on, like... It's kind of mundane. I I told my stream yesterday, I feel like I put on like a Chuck E. Cheese suit (laughs) and come out and they all like kick me (laughs) and they love it. Yeah. But like my balls are starting to ache, dude. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, exactly. That's. that's I've been eating Chuck E. Cheese pizza for two years. It's time to take the suit off. I'm hungry. (laughs) I'm done being the rat. No more rat, baby. Is he a rat or a mouse? Shh. I thought it was a mouse. Rat, I'm gonna say. I feel like a mouse is more brand friendly. Yeah, but like right. what the mouses don't like pizza. Is Chuck E. Cheese a rat? Do rats he is really an like anthropomorphic pizza? rat. And then he was changed to a mouse what? in nineteen ninety three. <laughs> so data says species rat nineteen seventy seven to ninety three, mouse ninety three to present. <laughs> Dude, I definitely <laughs> fuck with a rat more than a mouse. Yeah, a thousand percent. Occupation? Guitarist, vocalist? Dude, who the fuck is Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> Charles Entertainment Cheese? What the fuck is going on here? That's fucking That's awesome, great. dude. They fucking changed it from a rat to a mouse. Motherfucker. Why would they do that? Well, I identify as the rat still, though, so... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a fair <laughs> identifier. That's great, man. Mr. Rat over here. Um, One... uh, uh Back to Pie Town. Uh, instead of retarded, stupid YouTube rust... That I hate. All right, All right. take that it I easy. Hate. Uh, we went to a trampoline park as grown men, as very old, <laughs> old adults. As you, as do. you do. As several men who are very tall. Um, and had to, you sort of wade around the children to jump on the trampolines. No, there were no children there. <laughs> it, was there like it was like 10 at night. Really late. Yeah, there was no but kids either way, there. There was only like people we, are. We, we start hopping. And it, within like ten minutes, we all realize we're in trouble <laughs> because it's much harder than I, we remember it being. Right. It's like, uh, cause it's like, just imagine like jumping for like a minute straight, and that's pretty much how it feels. Like, it's exhausting. It was just, man. Yeah, it was a lot. And then we, but this place had some cool like brand. It wasn't just trampolines. They had like. A fucking zip line that you sit in that looked unbelievably dangerous. <laughs> like, there's just, like, this rope that you could so easily get caught in, and it just flings you. 
there was like fucking rock wall over foam. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Uh, it was a good time Played though. The whole ball. thing was dangerous. That was yeah. not meant for like kids, dude. Well, kids yeah, can fall on their else. head and they'll fucking bounce, bro. They're like, it's like soft, so they just like boing, like right off the floor. You could fall on concrete and be like, ah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's true. We're adults, man. If we fall, like for example, on a particular slide, it's like it takes like weeks to recover. Right. It took me. I was so fucked up that night. I was so tired. It was. Yeah, he passed was out. Sleepy. I'm gonna go take a nap. I took a nap. All right. <laughs> there was one night where you were like falling asleep in the back of the car, and we were trying to talk to you. <laughs> and I don't know if you were pretending, but you're like, I can't hear you. No, I was not. And it was like, I could What hear do you, you mean? Like we're lit- like we're talking to you. We can hear everything you're saying, and you're like, I can't hear you. The police went deaf, yeah. dude. And then we started playing no, music. I already lost wasn't... his hearing. And he's like, I can't hear it. <laughs> it was like it was astounding. It was like, what do you mean? You can't hear it. Yeah, it's the only noise. I couldn't hear. Uh, I and guess. it was. <laughs> it's because you fucking turned the volume up on my seat. What, dude? <laughs> <laughs> That was blaze a funny bit. We, had, or something. we had the blazed audio <laughs> bit my car has like a the ability to like shift the where the audio is coming out so we just put it in the back right where he was sitting <laughs> and turned it off so it was only out of the speaker next but to his that head was what was confusing is when he said he couldn't hear us talking it was before that right yeah he was just, <laughs> it's out. just bizarre i don't know man but did we talk about the playground at pie town we did not. That might be like an intriguing. We got to recap yeah. the. Uh, well, I mean, we got to Pie Town. We went to the pie store, and then we were like, "That's it." So we drove around for a minute, hoping there would be an ounce of remaining content there. After we had just trekked, you know, yeah. thousands of dollars and thousands of miles to come here, and we found this little playground. <laughs> uh, and man, there was this slide. You guys have seen the <laughs> vlog, but. There's this it's the world's sketchiest looking metal slide with no supports. Like we're talking just like a pole up with the ladder and then a pole alongside the slide right into the ground where you land. And I took the I took the horns. I went first. Went okay. Didn't get hurt. Um and then I think Blaze went and we're like, all right, sl- slide's pretty fun. We started filming yeah. it. And then Dickbot goes up. <laughs> You can take it from there. <laughs> I just, I think, come on, man. You present. It. Listen, I don't think this was my fault. I don't think it was my fault. I, you know, I think, uh, I think, uh, at, at one point, Kevin was like, listen, man, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> and I was like, I did I was say like, that. Because, you know, you can't be like, you can't tell me something's not a good idea and expect me not to do it. For sure, but I meant it in the most respectful way. Enough. Like, let's not like, do this slide. I, you know, I'm I'm a rebel, dude. So I hop up there, and I, I don't know if I've been on a slide in, like, you know, 15 years. So it takes me a minute to, like, get up there and understand when I'm supposed to put my legs and shit. And I go down it, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, it's not going too bad, but I know this isn't going to end well. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm already well aware of, of what's going to happen. Not to the extent of it, but like just I'm like it's not gonna go right, and of course I I like hit the ground at the bottom, like really fast, <laughs> like like really fast for some reason. So my fucking my legs don't react fast enough. I I like hit the ground and like bend my knees, because that you know it's sort of how you like land with stuff, right? You know you just your knees sort of absorb it, but it's like right. they did not. There's too much. They didn't absorb it, <laughs> so. I think the the real response you're supposed to have is to run, like you're supposed to hit the ground running, uh, which was just for for some reason like not an instinctual thing for me. Uh, I don't know why. It was for you guys. It wasn't for me. No, I almost fell too. Yeah, I mean, it was just it was a lot. Almost ate it. Yeah, it was not. I mean, this was a combination of your bad slide etiquette, but more so this ergonomically like horrible slide. We're talking like a pretty tall. Like just metal straight slide, very unforgiving, and you can pick up some crazy speed, <laughs> and it just it it exits so close to the ground that it 
if you don't straighten your legs and use that to lose some momentum, in Dinkbot's case, he bent his legs so his momentum went you know, forward. Went over yeah. his knees and all of his weight on top just went right yeah. down to the ground. So I, 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 I like at the very end of this, like I, I made the decision to start like trying to walk forward, or trying to run it off. It was like too late. It was like the upper center of my gravity was just like going t- head first towards the floor. For whatever reason, I didn't put my arms out in front of me. I just flopped onto the ground with my head first. <laughs> so, <laughs> I thought, like, I literally land with like a puff of like smoke on the ground. Just like I dented the floor with my head. Like, <laughs> it was ridiculous. Which, by the way, we have footage a video. of this too. It's, it's pretty a funny. Great, great shot of it. So, you can but take, these, you don't these, have to take our word for it. These vultures record my death. We did not. <laughs> we were already recording. We, I had no interest in filming so your fucking, pain. But I'm laying on the ground. I'm like, I feel an incredible amount of pain in my like face. I landed on my left cheek. And I'm like, okay, that's gone. I'm like, <laughs> like I was like, there's no way I still have a cheek right now. So I'm, I'm like, roll over and I'm like touching my face. It doesn't feel wet. So I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. And then Kevin comes over, pointing the camera in my face. I'm like, am I bleeding? I was not. <laughs> I'm like, am I bleeding? I was, uh, I'm like, I'm literally, yeah. I've become retarded because of like, for, I don't know if I got a concussion or what. I definitely thought I did because I blacked out for a second. But, like, I guess I didn't because I didn't die when I fell asleep. Dude, I don't know if you were playing up some sort <laughs> of bit, ridiculous. but for about two hours of the drive back, you were saying such absurd, <laughs> like, you're already an absurd person, but the these things that were coming out of your mouth were genuinely worrying. <laughs> like, you, 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 he sat in the back, he washed his mouth out with his head sand or whatever, <laughs> silent for 15 minutes, and then he just spouts out, Joe Rogan says, don't fall on your head. <laughs> and then it goes back to being silent. And we're like, dude, are you okay? He's like, what? What do you mean? And like, just, he just spout out this bullshit every five minutes. And it, and, but we're out in the wilderness. Like, there's no, it, there, there's not a the hospital, hospital if we like wanted there to be. Two away. At least. And it would be like, like some <laughs> weird town hospital where they, you like hit your head with a wrench. <laughs> So there was no hope for him, and I genuinely was like, "Does he have a? He might have a concussion." <laughs> and he wasn't giving us anything to work with. But Dinkbot, are you doing a bit? Are you joking? <laughs> Said like, what? It's true, dude. I don't remember most of this, but I like, I uh, yeah, I, was, I I had become retarded because that's what happens when you hit your head, and yeah, it kind of fucked with my day. I was like, I was like, all right, well, I'm I'm not gonna be normal for a minute. And I was like, maybe I'm not going to be normal ever. <laughs> I don't know, man. That'd be a good way to go out. What if you What if you hit the ground and we we're like, Dinkbot, and you just never, never yeah. turned over? I guess that, well, that is a good way. Well, when he turns over, it's the town. funniest part. When he looks up at the camera, he's like, what? I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, is that funny so to you, it funny to you that, it's hilarious. that your friend has now developed it's a funny. debilitating brain You're trauma? You're right, dude. Take is it that easy. funny to you, Blaze? Yes. God damn this it. This motherfucker. You're all right. I guess. I'm fine. We're just lucky we didn't all hit our heads like at the fucking trampoline park. We only injured ourselves like in very esoteric ways. I am injured. Our somehow injuries. didn't get hurt dude, fuck, too bad. Fuck you for that. Mr. Athlete over here fucking yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> comes out unscuffed. Fuck this dude. guy. Dinkbot gets a concussion. I hit the concrete, dude. <laughs> My shoulder is still fucking dying. <laughs> Dude, it was so. I just look up and you're on the ground. You're like, ow. And I'm like, what? <laughs> dude, I flipped over the skateboard, dude. I, but honestly, it could have been a lot worse. I didn't hit my head. That could have been Fuck, way dude. worse, dude. It spills his brains on the fucking skateboard. Because usually when you drop in, you fall backwards because you don't commit enough. But I did the opposite. Committed. I committed too much, but it was such a small ramp that all my. I just fell forward. So yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Well, at least we're alive. Still Skateboarding is dangerous, very dangerous. Yeah. Uh, but at the trampoline park, we we all just we bruised our egos more than anything, um, because we are so. It was out tiring, of shape. dude. That was miserable. Yeah. yeah, dude. That dodgeball game after every round, we were I like, oh, yeah. oh, 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 like laying on the ground. Um, but 
in the middle of our dodgeball game, uh, a, a, a woman approached us uh, who worked there and and was like, and, and I swear to God, this is how she started. She goes, hey, do you guys have Google accounts? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was the funniest. <laughs> For some reason, I construed this as like she recognizes us somehow. Like, because like what a oh, strange really? question to ask anybody, right? Do you have Google accounts? I, I was like, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> How do you not do you have not a Google have account? <laughs> and then she's like, okay, can you guys uh, leave a review for this place on Google? Because if you don't, then I'm going to get fired. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's obviously an absurd request that we were like, sure. <laughs> you know? Uh because I mean, I, I don't want this like weird girl to lose her job, but at the same time, like, is that really my responsibility? I I don't know. So we were like, okay, yeah, sure. And then she like fucks off, and it it was just so bewildering that we kind of just like had to like look at each other for a minute. Like I I don't know. Wait, but did you guys leave Absolutely the review? Not. No. Blaze. No. Oh come on. What? Okay, I remember. What did you I leave like, a review? Uh, well, okay. Here's what happened. I was like, hey, I was like, are hey, you guys gonna leave in a review? You're like, for sure. And I'm like, well, I'm driving. Not. So why don't you guys? Leave? You guys were both like, yeah, we're gonna. She's staring at us, dude. When she was there, well, we said we were gonna. No, after when we were That's just talking, cap. and I was like, that bullshit, shit, you guys aren't leaving. That is not true. That is absolutely cap. Dude, I swear to God, when we were putting our shoes on, I was like, are you guys gonna leave? And you're like, yeah, I probably will in the car. Because she was staring at us putting our shoes on. No, here, here's 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 what you here's what you're did. misconstruing. You said I'm driving, so I can't, so you guys will. And we were like, What? <laughs> there was absolutely <laughs> no point happen. in which I was actually gonna write a review. I was like, eh, maybe I feel kind of bad, but then I'm like, uh No, I because I because I, I said I like, wasn't like later I saw her and we were like we were like, oh, what's your name? And then we were like, she was like, yeah, my boss doesn't like it when the place gets negative reviews and he's going to take it out on me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's. Can you imagine yeah. having a job where your your job security relies on some random teenager leaving and a dude, review? Dude, that's Albuquerque. That's like I think she got paid per review. Is that like an no, unreasonable? No, because she didn't, she didn't ask us to credit her. No. Uh... Well, like then how would she get anything. fired if she got a the bad review? Thing didn't make a lot probably of they all get shit on. Or maybe she's just given the responsibility I to ask it, people or to, to get the whole reviews. Thing just seemed weird. It seemed like small business shit. You know, like small business people are like the most retarded people on the planet Earth. Uh, yeah, like horrible yeah, management. So, you know that from yeah, Spoon Kid Inc. So, um, <laughs> how horribly I mistreat you. Guys, can you please leave good comments on the new Spoon Kit 2 video? <laughs> if you get more than 10 dislikes, you're you fired. Know, I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> this girl was frightened asking us. So I don't think it was like, it, I think it was getting paid 12 her, an hour to fucking. She's kind I of think a baddie, she felt bad. I think she just felt bad. I guess. I don't know. I Dude, I couldn't do that. At my job, I'd be like, fuck you, you're firing me. Yeah, of course. Fuck out of here. I, I think it's just like... Yeah, being forced to go ask people... something about being like horrible. an insecure, like, teenage girl or whatever. Like, I hope she was, like, 19. I, I don't know. She was not a baddie, folks. I'm, I was lying. She I was hope normal. she was... <laughs> just I, I, I hope she fucking... That baddie teenage not, girl. I, you really had to use that she's adjective, like dude. 22. Or if she's not, then she's <laughs> yeah, not a baddie. She she's wasn't, baddie. dude. She was. <laughs> Period. She was not 22, dude. She was wearing a high school t shirt. She was wearing the F8 t shirt. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> oh, dude, now they're going to fucking. I think there's only one trampoline park. Like, like actually, like. Like, we have those well, here. They well. don't know where we were. They don't. They could deduce it, but you make it a lot That's easier true. with that. <laughs> Maybe maybe beep it. <laughs> just yeah, just maybe believe maybe. it, yeah. Um I don't know what I was saying. I don't know. I not a baddie. We did not leave the review. So very sorry. Did not leave the review. The review just it's a, it doesn't make sense. It's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah, but that was sort of our last hurrah of uh Wait, well we we didn't mention though, on the other side of the deal, if we left the review what was it? They'd give us a free jump pass yeah, for the next for time. Like 
So, yeah, but we're I, never going back. Well, yeah, so. but I'm just saying, like, that's not there, a bad deal. It. Yeah. For sure. But, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Oh, it goes. Not our fault. New Mexico. New Mexico, Pretty yeah. fun, though. A, a strange look into a strange world where they're obsessed with chilies. Dude, they love chilies. They love their Every chilies. Every fucking dish. The pie had chili in it. <laughs> yeah. What the is with that, chili. dude? It's, it's, not fucking, it's a pepper. Is it like some famous... Two of the pies. Is it famous? Dude, it's only like flag. I mean, I guess they're, they're like known for pepper. Red, I, I like don't know, Like green chilies, red chilies. Nobody's into pepper that much. Not much you can do about it. They're just weird. But there were, he was not exaggerating. There was, there was chilies in the pie. Like a lot. I think... No, nah, it wasn't the... The apple pie wasn't bad, though. It wasn't like yeah. She described it as having like every spicy thing under the sun, but it was just no. But it, it was, was just, just the apple. flavor of chili. Yeah, it was weird. Pretty much. It was strange. Strange place. New Mexico. Strange state. Definitely strange. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. Strange state. Then we all drove. Yeah, home. I think next time also, we gotta go to more exciting. Place. Exactly. Yeah. Next time. There is one. Yeah, we gotta do. Something crazy. Agreed. Agreed. What crazy thing? Uh, what if we went to like Alaska uh, and did like Jesus ice Christ. fishing and like some oh just crazy sh- like crab fishing? What? That might be good. Like, you know, those Alaskan crabs that are man sized? Like, oh, there's some crazy activity. Like, yeah, we went crab fishing. But, like, other than fishing, what can you think of there is to do in Alaska? Oh, there's a lot in Alaska. I'm waiting. Dude, come on. What? <laughs> I don't want well, to I'm sorry. I, I just, I don't, I don't think there's much. There is to do. There's a glacier. You can oh, go a take a helicopter to a glacier. Dude, come on. A oh, my God. There's walk? a glacier? That would be crazy. <laughs> think about doing bits on just this floating white <laughs> orb. <laughs> that would be nuts, dude. You know that would be nuts. Glacier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deep uh. falls through the glacier and dies. Whoops. <laughs> he falls in a crevasse. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah, that like one's questionable. That, huh? I think we gotta yeah. go somewhere with lots of people. I think. What about like Iceland? Jesus Christ. I don't dude. have a what? passport. I also don't have So we can like make fun of the names of the cities. (laughs) That's the best we got. We are already out of ideas. One vlog episode in. Do you think Dinkbot would be beheaded if we went to like Somalia for the for a trip? Would they kill me because I'm like a white devil? No, because you're like talking shit. (laughs) Like you're being too loud. (laughs) Off with his head. I don't know. What you gonna do to me, Paul G? (laughs) <laughs> that's, that's what I'd say I'd just say I don't give a hoot They have an AK I don't give a hoot Oh dude we could shoot AKs Sh- Try and use that thing I'll take it out of his hands And disassemble it in front of him In one second Oh will you? <laughs> yes You couldn't even <laughs> Take the safety off the AK <laughs> How do I do this? Uh, what are you talking about? What do you mean? That was the one that I got fine okay. The revolver was the well, trick. No, no, not the AK. I had to do the AK. No, Blaze had to help you with the AK. No, he helped you, I dumb, dumb. You couldn't get the mag in. I helped you, oh, idiot. My, are you serious? Yeah, what? What are you talking about? Oh, my God, Blaze. You Blaze, did you it. literally I did. put... I, you remember he put the mag in and he couldn't get it because he, he didn't get the st- like stick in? Yeah, that was me, but then he had to help you, too. You're like, you go first. And then I was like, all right, I guess I'll go. And so I went. What does that and have then to I do had with... To help what? I had to help both of you buffoons get the mag again because you don't know what you're doing. I did know what I was doing. It's a little difficult. You got to fucking eh, and then eh, and then press it in. It's a little tough. You did not. And you know did what not you're touch doing. my mag. By the way, I did that on my fucking own. No, not the mag. The thing Dude, on the side. It's just the thing that you push down. down. Yeah. You didn't know. Yes, you like, I do, you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of the Dude, lies. Dude, what are you talking? I probably have it on video. You pull the thing I up and you pull do. the bolt back. It's in fucking every video game ever made. I know how to use the fucking AK. Just making shit up. 
Not the not Oh, the shut bowl. up, you booger eating fuck. Shot. Why don't you pick your fucking nose for a minute, bitch? The fuck's the matter with you? Uh, the fact Why that you're lying? getting so defensive about this is speaking so volumes to Turn this fucking this. podcast if up. You I'm re- done with this shit. You're full of shit, you're dude. Full of fuck. Shit. Five foot eleven. I fucking buy you an AK bitch. and you're like, oh, you don't know how. Yes, I do. Why are you making oh, this yeah, shit up? You drop four bucks. I'm not for the going AK, any more trips. You fucking liar. Get the you fuck, fuck out bitch. of here. You fuck this fucking you. podcast, dude. Huh? W- me and Blaze both remember this. So yeah, well, when me and Blaze remember something, you're still right. But when you and Blaze remember something, I'm wrong. Nah, he's got a point. What, what are you talking about? But, you literally but have like a skewed view this, of reality. Think, but... You're fucking lying. No, you're wrong about this. It's but short, man. Is short. <laughs> He's small. Guys, I'm dropping out of the Goomba podcast. Uh, I'm sorry. Blaze is your new co-host. Uh, me? Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, man. You, it's it's your show now. You know? Uh, you're going to have to take over. I, I have other okay I have responsibilities that, I elsewhere now. I'm sorry. I'm not as funny yeah, as well, you though. I know. But uh <laughs> you know, you guys made this bed, now you gotta lie in it. So and what? and and <laughs> I know you're good at lying. Told that something I know that you're happened? good at lying, so you Dude, didn't have to get lie out in of bed. here. You are shocking. Dude, we, you just didn't fans, pull back I'm the sorry. thing on the AK. That's you just fine. Viewed it's okay. The greatest rift ever being created. The Goomba podcast is no longer. <laughs> no, we made it this far. <laughs> we made it, we made it, good run. <laughs> It was a good Four one. episodes or something. Five, maybe. <laughs> All right. So, demonetized. Uh, Goomba Andy. Oh, well, guys, support the Patreon. I'm sure there's going to be a whole lot of episodes <laughs> coming. <laughs> fuck yeah, this fuck guy, man. Blaze, we're starting the Booba <laughs> podcast. Uh, what, what, what is, he doesn't what want is... to do a podcast with you. I think I could do. I just. I think I suck at the podcast. That's what I, I think. You're being. A, I feel like you're being a little mean, dude. But oh, what? What? You hurt my feelings. So you get to lie, you really but I end can't the podcast? be mean, dude. You're not lying. Mm, I don't know. You're a lot of lies out of you tonight. I don't know why you're getting so upset about this, dude. Because I just don't. I don't like being deal. lied to, man. Dude, you. Me and Blaze both remember this. Do you, Blaze? See, I remember the, I remember the, the gun range, but the height is where we disagree. Okay. Well, that's not a matter of fact. That's more a matter of opinion. What? The gun range is indisputable. No, it's not indisputable. None range. of this is indisputable. You're just like wrong. Well, the the gun range was a thing, and you that also happened. remembered is like a- that we were saying yes, we'll review the thing, which was also wrong. Like you literally lied like five times this, for no reason. I don't understand. Like what? Wait, wait, what? What thing are we reviewing? He was. You remember he was like, "You guys said you were gonna leave reviews." I thought you did say that. I mean, I, I said it like that. barely. I was like, "Yeah, I'll leave a review," and she's looking at me like, like her life but somehow depends that means on that it. We so we both were like, "Yes, we're going to leave one." Yeah, it was, that's true. Spoon Kid I is just like you need to put him in a fucking home. It's like dementia is taking over. I don't know what. <laughs> It's impossible to tell stories of right, this guy fact-checking you every minute yeah. with, like, wrong facts. He's, like, literally a wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he is, man. You're going to take that? All right, we got to wrap this fuck, up, dude. dude. I don't want to talk anymore. Whatever. <laughs>